Thanks for joining us on the NBC Connecticut YouTube page. I'm Mike Heideck along with Senator Len Fasano. We are talking face the facts and transportation. Uh, the new special session is going to be after the new year. Republicans or the plan that you are backing uh, talks about taking money out of the rainy day fund and then paying down debt and then money should be available. Do I have that correct? Correct. To try to do that. Uh, how do you feel about that plan moving forward and when you try to make that pitch come January? Well, I think our plan has a lot of viability in it. I think uh, if you're getting 2% interest in your, or 1% interest in your saving account, and you're paying 23% on your credit card that's maxed out, you would obviously pay your credit card off and have that extra cash flow. That's what this does. Then we take that cash flow, we put it into our transportation cash. We use some of it to help the bonding with low federal interest rate loans. It's a win-win for everybody and we get infrastructure moving. Do you feel like with those loans and that plan will be enough to deal with all the issues we have considering the, what, I still think the number is crazy, the, the, the railroad bridge down in uh, the Devon area, I guess, or is that where it is, where yes. it's like a $3 billion price tag? <laughs> Um, do we have, is that enough money, that plan, to take care of things that are that expensive? So Governor Lamont's plan started off at $21 billion. It's down to $19 right. billion. Our plan is $18 billion, uh, $600 million. We're $400 million off over 10 years. That's nothing. Right. So I would argue our plan does match his numbers. Uh, so if his plan is good, our plan is good. And I'm not challenging any of his numbers because he knows them better than I do because he's got the technicians. Right. So I'm here to match his. If it works, ours work. So we can definitely do this. Moving forward, he's talking about <laughs> truck tolls. You and, and some of your colleagues have said, look, uh, Connecticut voters can't trust people in Hartford. It's going to end up having cars down the road. Is there something legally that can be done where it can s put a stopgap measure and say, look, you can't add cars? Is there something legally that can be done? Well, two things. One, no, unless you do a constitutional amendment. Okay. And then the question is begged. Are we going to write a constitutional amendment every time we do something in the in the Capitol? Because we can't trust ourselves. That's just crazy. So constitutional amendment makes no sense. That's for broad aspect purposes, not for a definitive one item. And that just doesn't make any sense. Other than that, by constitution, you cannot uh, bound the hands of future legislators or, right. uh, on laws or commitments. Uh, so you can't do it unless it's a constitutional amendment, and that just doesn't make you sense. You don't see that happening. No. Uh, what are the chances, do you think, that we get something done before the regular session starts in February? I, I really think that if Governor Lamont wants to play the hand, he should to determine if he doesn't have the votes. But he needs to put a line in the sand to say, if I don't have the votes for tolls, I can't stop this uh, construction anymore. I need to acquiesce and go forward with the next plan. Right. And then if later on they want to come up with tolls and substitute it, knock yourself out. But he cannot say, if I don't get my way, we're not doing anything. Hesitation is devastation, and that's a problem. And it doesn't seem up until this point that he's been my way or the highway, so to speak, because he has gone back and forth with you guys, right? And his plan has modified quite a bit yeah. from 50 tolls down to yeah. 14 or whatever it is. Here's to getting something done in the new year. <laughs> Sounds Senator good. Senator Fasano, Thank thanks you for joining me. us on Face the Facts. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.